Well, you know, soup can be the perfect meal this time of year. It's hard, it's healthy, it's hearty, and uh, it's delicious. Today's recipe is all that, plus quick to put together. Cookbook author Annette Ward is here to show us how to make her Western vegetable soup. Good morning, Annette. Good morning. Good to see you. Things are going here in the kitchen. Yes, this is they wonderful. are. They're just sizzling all over the place. What we're going to do is season, season the uh, gr ground beef because that's the only thing that gets seasoning. Uh, so see, putting the flavor in. So you've been browning this for in. a little bit. So what are we adding? All right, we're adding a little seasoned salt mm -hmm. and a little pepper. And we're going to stir it up. Now, how did you come up with the idea for this particular soup? Well, it's, it's, it's one of the soups in my book that's gotten most recognition from friends and family. And it's, uh, it's something that mom and I sort of put together some time ago, many, many years. Mm -hmm. Because the book I wrote is all in honor of her. Now, you so, brought a copy of the book. Tell, tell us the name of the book, because it's got a wonderful name to this book. The name of the book, title of the book is Switching in the Kitchen with Mom and them. <laughs> that's Switching in Da Kitchen with mom and them. Now, how'd you come up with that name? Uh, my, sis my mom's sisters would come to visit and they'd all get in the kitchen and have so much fun. And I thought about that title to include them uh, in this little project. I've never written a book before, but goodness, this one's getting a lot of attention. Well, that's good because you're, yeah. you're cooking some good food here. Yes, now, you've got a yes. lot of good stuff already in that soup pan, uh, or in the pot. Right, this is basically vegetables. And I've chosen to use canned vegetables mm -hmm. because it's easy and quick. You, like I said, you can do this in 15 minutes or less. But I have carrots and peas, lima beans, uh, green beans, um, and a lot of kidney beans because it's basically a Western flavor. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to have to do is add this that has the seasoning in it to this. Oh, and yeah, this is going to be seriously hearty, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a good time here. Now, I so, notice you didn't drain that. Would you normally mm, drain the meat or? You would never drain the meat because that's where the substance is. That's where the seasoning is. Oh, okay. All in here. All the flavor. I would have thrown all, all that away. All the flavor. Don't you <laughs> even try because that's going to be where the flavor goes. And so you have also crushed tomatoes, or better yet, diced tomatoes. That's mm -hmm. even better. And that makes your soup. Now, now this is the base. what this is? I'd say tomato juice. Tomato juice, exactly. And you just, it's so easy because you just pour and stir. So this goes back to kind of the way that your mom and grandmother would have cooked Absolutely. because they would have used canned vegetables. They would have used things that they had on hand. Absolutely. So now on the other hand, if they didn't want to, if, if uh, you don't want to use canned vegetables, you can always cook your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Uh, I don't have any potatoes in here because I always freeze it. Oh, so, and that the snap because it's mushy. not a yeah, it's not a, a, a large family. Mm -hmm. But this is for a large family and friends coming in, and that's my mom's favorite old-fashioned sweet potato pie over there. I might give you all the slice. Okay. Does, is there a secret ingredient in the sweet potato pie? Yes. Everybody has just a little yes. different way of doing Pumpkin it. Pumpkin pie spice. Oh. Very very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. But anyway, this is your soup. And the only thing you're going to add to this, once you get everything in it, would be your chili seasoning. And this is the chili seasoning. And that gives it the, the southwestern flavor. South that's a lot flavor. of seasoning, but that's a lot of soup. Yeah, but that's a lot of soup, too. It turns out to be just perfect uh, with this much in it. I've made this a lot of times. Can't keep it in the house, but I... <laughs> now, like you said, th this, this would simmer for how long? Because we're for 15 gonna... minutes. And then it's ready once to go. Once you get it in there, and once you put the, I'm going to put this right here. Okay. And once you get your half bay leaf in there. So, you know, bay leaves come in big pieces. Mm -hmm. So you're going to break it in half and put one in there and let it go. And we're going to make sure we take that out, too, before we serve it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that gives it a unique flavor as well. Now, was it a, a unique experience for you to, to go back and get these family recipes, to get the stories behind them and, 
and compile yeah. them all. Right, because basically my mom's uh, cooking skills were citywide and city known. Mm -hmm. And um, I got her recipes in that book, Chapter One, all the way from 1941. And they are the most amazing things. The, the, she has the sweet potato yum yum on page 64. It's awesome. This is 349, the Western vegetable soup. But she had a number of very, very great, very good recipes that um, people often requested her to make. And also so, very standard recipes. You've got some wonderful deviled eggs over here, yeah. some tuna salad, a green salad. And tell me about these the corn muffins. Those are corn muffins. And as I told you before, it's interesting to note that half of what I had to lay out of here <laughs> is in, in cut glass and beautiful crystal. And so, and this was a neat uh, thing. I couldn't find her uh, uh, terrine. So I talked to my friends uh, over at Pasadone and they took, didn't have one. So they sent me down to Consignment Connections and Philip came up with this. Isn't this the most beautiful thing? It really is. And it's a wonderful way yeah. to present your soup. Now, right. do we have everything in here that we need to do? Is this everything in stage? here needs to go for 15 minutes. Uh, give the, the bay leaf a chance to work a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was all supposed to be on that uh, tray um, uh, toasted cheese uh, wedges. And toasted cheese and vegetable soup go perfectly together. Well, people now will have to get your cookbook so that they can figure out exactly yes, what goes into will. all of these wonderful yeah. things here on your table. Now, I want to say, so you brought something that surprised me. This is not our first time meeting, right? Annette? No, it's not. <laughs> want to take a look at a picture. This is from 30 years Whoa. ago. <laughs> this is me and Annette. I was hosting a, a concert with uh, Roberta Flack, and Anita was, uh, Annette was receiving an award. So this is circa about 1987 or so. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Back in the day. We go back a long way, right, don't we, Annette? Right, right. All right, so any tip on freezing this? You, because you said it's great. So we, do we want to cool it down before we yeah, freeze? You Cool it down and put it in individual plastic containers and just put it in the freezer. There are no potatoes in here, so you don't have to worry about the mushy things that potatoes do. Uh, if you want, I don't have any onions or celery in here. I have celery flakes. Oh, forgot the celery flakes. Put it in there. Well, we're going to put this recipe yeah. online by early this afternoon. Just go yes. to wtvr.com slash vtm. Thank you so much, Annette, for, jo exactly. for joining us and for sharing this. And the name of the book again? Switching in the Kitchen with Mama Nim. <laughs> All right. Available now.